Investing in the stock market can be one of the best decisions of your life, but it's very important that you never get overconfident. So there's been a lot of recent volatility in the US stock market and there are a lot of reasons. Uh, first off, there's the potential trade war with China and the increasing tariffs with them. There's a lot of other political stuff and the reason I personally think um, that there's been a lot more volatility recently is that there's been smooth sailing for way too long. So if we take a look at the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, this is an index fund that basically takes into account all the US stocks. And as we can see over here at 2009, the stock was worth about $38 and over at 2018, it's currently worth about $134. So pretty much as long as you haven't been like just investing in pharmaceuticals or penny stocks, chances are you've made a decent amount of money on the stock market. First is to diversify over the asset classes. So it's very important that you not only own just stocks, it's also important that you own a little bit of real estate and to always have a cash savings of about one to six months worth of living expenses. So at least for the real estate, you know, you don't have to like rent out anything. I think it's at the very least, you should own the place that you live at. That would be just, that'd be a good starting place. The next off is to make sure that you invest over time and use drip which is dividend reinvesting so investing over time basically allows you to dollar cost average and make it so that you don't overpay for something like for example if you bought AT&T at $40 but it dipped immediately back to $35 you don't want to be that guy who bought you know a thousand shares of AT&T at 40 instead of 35 so you want to make sure you invest over time and always allow the dividends in the portfolio to just reinvest and lastly is to invest only money you don't need right away so if you have a rent bill that you need to take care of make sure you don't invest any money into that unless you already have it taken care of And lastly, you want to make sure that you only invest money that you don't need right away. So if you have rent coming up at the end of the month, or if you have a bill that you need to pay at the end of the month, you want to make sure you always have money for that and never to invest money that you need right away. Because say, for example, a stock could just dip in price, or if it's, if something is due for you on the first and you sell it on like the 28th or something, it's going to take time for you to sell it. It's going to take time for it to clear. And it's going to take time for it to get back to your bank so you don't want to have to shuffle your money around if you don't need to anyways guys that's the video i hope you liked it if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below and i'll see you all on the next video